Water, the essence of life. It accounts for more than 70% of your body's total makeup and must be properly maintained in order for you to stay hydrated. Drinking enough water is vital to good health, not only to stay hydrated, but also to flush toxins and other waste from your body. But not all water is created equal. We live in a world where our water supply is contaminated with chemicals, pesticides, bacteria, pharmaceutical residues, and other byproducts of our industrialized life. The water we drink travels through pipes, passes through filtration devices, and is subjected to various systems that manipulate its electrical properties. Then, to counteract the effects of any remaining contaminants, chlorine is added to our tap water. Chlorine may kill some or most of the traces of harmful elements in our water, but consuming it in such large quantities over time may be as bad for us as the contaminants themselves. So, in reality, the water we depend on to hydrate and rid our bodies of waste may be only adding to the toxins that already exist. And bottled water isn't any better. In fact, studies have shown that bottled water often contains more contaminants than tap water. The plastic containers alone contain dioxins, which have been proven to be carcinogenic. Water has a neutral pH by nature. The municipal treatment process and environmental pressures only increase its acidity, which is then passed on to our bodies when we drink it. Figure into the equation the fact that most Americans consume almost twice as much soda as water and subsist on a diet that is best described as substandard, which can increase already high acid levels. This results in a condition known as acidosis, which may lead to severe dehydration. For decades, the Japanese have referred to distilled water, or water treated by reverse osmosis, as dead water. Dead water has been depleted of its minerals and can be highly acidic. When water is acidic, it has very little potential to reduce oxidation in the body. This encourages the growth of free radicals, which damages cells, organs, and DNA through oxidation. Free radicals are known to be a root cause of many significant health challenges, as well as the aging process itself. More than 80% of all illnesses can only exist in an acidic environment. So it is a logical assumption that by restoring the body to an alkaline state, we can regain control of our health. And the most effective way to achieve the transformation to alkalinity is by drinking water that has been restructured, turning acidic dead water into alkaline living water. Simply put, acidic water has more protons than electrons, resulting in a positive charge. Living Water by Valara reverses the proton to electron ratio to increase alkalinity through a process known as ionization, which creates a negative charge. The oxidation reduction potential, or ORP, of a substance is directly linked to its charge. Substances with positive charges are acidic, and in most cases, substances with negative charges are alkaline and the farther below zero the charge, the greater the amount of antioxidant properties, which equals an enhanced ability to fight free radicals at the cellular level. To gain a better understanding of the concept, I found what the world is searching for. Here, right here, my dear, I don't have to look no more.